All right, so in this video, we're going to uh, cover the ba under the basic widget here. We're going to cover the text and numerics, the first one. Um, so we have four, four different uh, widgets in here, first one being the label. Um, we just drag it over into our project and just click on it, pick it up, and you can drag it anywhere in your project. Um, whenever you have it selected, you can change uh, various things about the uh, label in your toolbar here or these same things if you press into the properties uh, if you don't see your properties you come over here to view view tools and docking and then that's where you can turn it turn it on and off so we come over here turn on our properties and then we have this little button here show advanced properties uh, if you want to click that you can then see here where it says text and we can see the font style if we wanted to change the font style, that didn't change it too much. Um, font color, we want to go a different color, and then size again, so um, most of these things are over here. All right, and if you want to uh, change the label, you may double click it, you can open up this. And we can say, okay. And then we we'll want to click this because uh, the size it is right now is not picking up that second word. So if we come up here to our toolbar, it'll it'll size to fit basically. It'll make it the uh, same size as what's what the text is, and then we can resize if we want to. All right. So we are going to in this demonstration, we're going to make a tag. We've already made a tag, um, but we're going to do it to the visibility of our label here. So we'll tag it to this boolean value. Test. Say OK. And right now this button, whenever it's pressed, it's a maintain button, um, will determine whether or not that bit test goes true or false, which will determine whether or not we see this. So the next one we have here is a numeric value. I'll drag this over into the field. And it's basically the same thing. I can change the properties. Over there in the toolbar, we can also do it over here. We'll change, uh, we'll add our little plus button here to show our, our uh, tags that we've created over here in the config file. You can watch one of our other videos for that. We're going to tag it to the short test one. Okay. And we've made it a read only. Down there at the bottom, you can see here our radio button is tagged for read only. I say okay. And then this button right here, we have it every time it's pressed, we'll increase that short, that uh, test one value, one every time it's pressed. So when it'll start out at zero, we press it, it'll go to one, two, three, and so on. Um, this one is our hex field. Uh, again, same principle. We can come up here, change it. Now we're going to tag this to the same test one. We're going to make this a read write. So if I click on it in the HMI, it will then be able to write to that tag. So next thing, the last thing we have here is the message field. And we are going to come over here into our properties. And the value will be our, our test one tag. So as this increments up, we will display different messages. So here's our messages here that we will want to display. Click that, add or remove a message. And we'll just make this message A. B. C. And D. And we'll hit the OK. Press this again because, like I said, it's size to fit earlier. All right. So let's uh, run our simulator here and see what we got. So if we click here, you can see the label is visible. Go away, come back, and if we step our value, you can see here that our value is going up and we're displaying a different message. Then we can click into here. This is the one we, we made a read-write. We can change it 
to zero, and I'll show message A. And there was no message for four. So not gonna see one there. Thank you and I hope you enjoy.